Uh, I'm Connor Northrup. I'm now joined by Bellator welterweight Jaleel Willis. Jaleel, what's up? What's going on, brother? How are you? Good, good, good. It is our, our first time talking, so I appreciate uh, taking the time. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. Sorry. Sorry I'm, like, driving while I'm doing this, man. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Just uh, safety first, though. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, you're still yet to fight in, in 2021, but how's, how's your year, you know, been going on so far? Man, uh, it's been going pretty solid, you know what I mean? It's like I uh, feel, uh, like, mentally better than what I was this time last year, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, that thing, it's like clear-minded, got a clear focus on the task at hand, know what I'm going for. It's like, not like, uh, like uh, I always say, like, not clocking in and stuff, figuring out what I'm going to do this afternoon and trying to figure out what is going to happen after this month and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like, feel good to know that I'm a fighter, full-time fighter, and that's all I got to worry about is fighting, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure, like, not as much as a fighter, but I'm sure a lot of people can kind of sympathize with that too. Because at this time last year, no one really knew what was gonna, what was, what was next for anybody. Exactly right. And, you know, <laughs> but my... Yeah, it was crazy time. But uh, I, I was curious too because you know you're you're a two-time Bellator veteran now too, and I know your last fight that was kind of like the first of like your your first uh, stint. You, you you picked up a win. But, you know, do you still feel like you're fairly new to, like, the Bellator promotion? Or do you feel like you've established yourself? Do you feel like you're kind of, you know, concrete fixture in, in that welterweight division? Man, it's like, uh, I feel feel concrete, you know what I mean? But uh, I know I, in my eyes, I, I, I think I got a lot more work to do to solidify my eyes a little bit more as far as, like, uh, for... Uh, you know, so I can be up there with names like Jason Jackson. You know what I mean? So like, yep. um, I want to solidify my name and concrete myself and up to that standard. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. I mean, and you talk about Jackson. I mean, what a, what a great example, too, because in, in a year's time, I, I mean, I feel like he just, you know, almost jumped the line. He, he climbed up pretty fast. Yeah, man. That's pure motivating, dude. Like, that's like I watched his journey and that's like kind of. A lot of reasons I'm like so motivated to get up and run heels, and you need, you know, I mean, you need to check that mind out. He work hard all the time, you know, like he does everything that's coming towards his way. Yeah, I, I was curious too. I, I was gonna ask this question a little later, but since you brought up, you know, just you know, you brought up Jax. I know he's got the fight with Daly, but it just seems like there's a lot of moving parts in this division right now too. You know, you obviously had the title fight coming up, but you know. Uh, uh, Michael Page just won uh, this past weekend too. So, what's that like for you too? A guy who's kind of been around like that ten spot too. A lot of that's like ahead of you. So, is there a lot of excitement when you kind of think of all these names and all these moving parts? Yeah, man. Uh, and mostly exciting for me because I don't know which one of these guys could end up across for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like all of them are like kind of like an overload of like experience and a huge task to prepare for. But I feel. As if, like, you know, once I got whoever it is I'm supposed to get, that's when I can, you know, evaluate everything I need to do to be able to go through and uh, take care of business, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. And, and we, I, I kind of mentioned it before, but, you know, we last saw you fight in, in November, but a lot has happened in the promotion since then. You know, they since uh, moved to Showtime. They also introduced rankings, too. So I was just curious, you know, what do you kind of make of all these changes since, you know, you last fought? Man, I like them. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, I like that uh, it's showing more so of like a competitive edge now. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, now, like after, belt, after each fight, it's almost like people looking at the rankings on Monday morning trying to see where their names falling. And uh, I think it would be cooler, you know, if they we start to kind of mix it up a little bit more. It's like uh, more ranked people fighting more ranked people and stuff like that. That's what I'm hoping for. It's like to be able to fight up more often, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just got to be nice to know, too, that there is like, I mean, a, a lot of guys, I feel like, say the numbers don't matter, but – it must be kind of nice to know where at least, you know, people are kind of putting you in that division. Exactly, man. I want to know, it's like, like I said, I want to solidify myself as one of the top prospects and one of the top fighters in the world. So I'm like, you know, those rankings really can show like a good key of like who I need to be to get there. 
Yeah. I know at one point, I think it was in March, uh, I, I think you were pegged at number 10, but I saw in, uh, I think May 11th was the last time you did. Uh, you're, you're probably right outside. You weren't in the top 10, but I was just curious, you know, for you, where do you feel like you res- realistically sit in, in that division? And uh, I, I said, like, I'm right where I need to be. It's like probably like number 11, something like that. You know mm. what I mean? Because uh, I want to, you know, I, I would, I feel like I would have to fight one of those top ranked guys, you know what I mean? to solidify myself as some um, top 10, you know, like completely, you know what I mean? It's like, I was grateful to get the position. I don't think mm-hmm. that did, it just made me think like, well, shit, I need to, you know, work even harder than what I'm already doing. Cause I got even more of a fucking, you know, powerhouse motion to fucking, you know, get with now. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. When you look at it, too, I mean, it doesn't even have to be, like, anything like ill will, like a call out or anything like that. But is there anybody kind of ranked ahead of you or even just anybody in the division that you look at and that's a guy that, you know, you're really interested in maybe mixing up with? Jake Paul. I just playing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, <laughs> you and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, right? No, I was just bullshit. I was bullshit. No, I was like, no, nah, man. I was looking at dudes like uh, uh, Black Ice and stuff like that, you know, like good compatible fights, man. You know what I mean? Something that'll really solidify that this dude is on the way up, you know? Yeah, for sure. Real quick, yeah. though, uh, since you brought him up, what, what do you make of Jake Paul, too? Because the MMA world is, is really hating on him. But he did, he did beat, you know, Ben Askren, so I think, yeah, I give him a little credit. But, you're like, right, where do you, right. where do you, what's your kind of feel on the whole thing? I um, I feel like um, he need to fight my guy Angelo. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> <laughs> he need to fight one of those a real up and coming boxer. You know, if he want to try to make something happen for real, then I'll be look. I'll be sold on him. If he if he fight an up and coming boxer or something like that, and it's like and show that he really is like some solidified pro, then I, then I'll be with the program. But until then, I'm just like I'm on the train of like man, you know. Fuck what you talking about. It's funny to watch him, you know what I mean, make his little shenanigans and stuff like that, though. For sure. But uh, got up with him a little bit more, though. You know what I mean? It's like, but, uh, yeah, bro. It's like, he making money moves, I guess is what we can say, bro. My making money moves, and he know who to fight and when to fight him. It's like, he, like I said, he won't be fighting no real up-and-comers, no real boxing prospects who, you know what I mean, who could be right there with him. Other two and two or two and old guys and shit like that. He won't be doing that. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's interesting times we live in. I mean, his brother doesn't even have a win uh, in the ring, and he gets to fight, you know, one of the best boxers to ever do it. So it's it's crazy times. Yeah, yeah. so we're going we to see it, man. It's like, I, like I said, they making money moves, though, and you can't hate on the man. Uh, for sure. You know, Keeping food on the table and shit like that. So I'm like, I never knock a man for doing that right there. Yeah, I mean, what other three no fighter is making that kind of money right now? My, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you tell me. I don't know nobody doing it. Yeah, no, it's been crazy. But um, it's also interesting too, just the whole dynamic of it too, because you think about boxing too. And it's not like MMA where, you know, some of these guys, it's like 15 fights until they're actually fighting somebody who maybe is of the same caliber, if not a little better. So it is kind of like crazy the way boxing works and then also the way he's doing it. Right, right. And it's, uh, but I mean, it might be, that might be the new norm for boxing. You know what I mean? So like that might be how people going to start getting names back out. Because I remember coming up in boxing. Seeing some of these dudes thinking they was no different than like you know WWF wrestlers at times, you know the way yeah. they, just, you know what I mean. It's like you go to a press conference, you see like real punches being thrown right there. You know, it's like these dudes really hate each other. They really want to fight. You know, it's like so that might be the way people be promoting stuff now. You know what I mean? The way boxing. Yeah. You know, yeah, I never really thought of it like that, too. You're right. Like, I remember, like, when I was first getting into sport, too, it was like Brock Lesnar was coming. And you're like, oh, he's not going to, like, he's not going to know what to do. And then he became the champion. So, you know, it is what it is. But And then now there's TikTokers fighting YouTubers. But uh, enough about YouTube and enough about Jake Paul. Uh, uh, let's talk a little bit more about uh, Jaleel, too. What's kind of, for you, like, you know, what do you think is going to be your next move? Well, I think my next move is, uh, you know, finishing fights. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, we, I'm... I'm showing that I can go out there and hang for 15, even 25 minutes and win each round. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, 
I'm, next move for me uh, is finishing fights. You know what I mean? It's like uh, I never got a submission before. It's like I want to be gunning for submissions. You know what I mean? It's like uh, knockouts, TKOs come, you know, around every once in a while. But it's like I want to be that dude like uh, that's coming out there and finishing fights. So, you know, out there, man, it's like I want Scott Coker them calling me back, being like, you know, let's get him on the show again. You know what I mean? Let's get him back in the motion. It's like yeah. I want an exciting fighter. That's my next move. For sure. More exciting, you know what I mean? Coming out there, hitting folks with a bang, showing just how much I'm putting into the sport every day. Yeah. Is there any changes that you're doing to kind of make that come to, like, fruition? Like, are you doing anything differently maybe than you were uh, before that last fight? I am, man. It's like, uh, I've been getting down with a lot more just, like, strength training and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, working on just, like, my explosiveness and stuff it's like um and trying to make it more of a consistent daily grind you know what i mean it's like um i know most people just kind of just on and off this that, and other but it's like you know i was already training when bellator hit me up about this fight right here and that's like kind of how you know that's why i pretty much changed like i didn't have to get ready for this fight i was already you know good yeah and when you talk about the strength training, too, I know at one point you were supposed to, I think that was the time I actually had talked to you for the first time. It was before uh, the Patricky fight. But uh, obviously, uh, the lightweight, you know, you're at welterweight now. Are, are you fully committed to welterweight now? Is lightweight, you know, never going to happen? Fully, fully welterweight, bro. Yeah. Fully welterweight. It's like, about to beef on up on me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, do you have any, like, date in mind, any time that you realistically would like to, to uh, you know, make that return? Man, uh, it's like, it's supposed to be, you know, trying to make the return early this month, you know what I mean? Yeah, great. Have you heard any, like, uh, I mean, you don't have to tell us, obviously, but uh, have you heard any, like, names or anything like that? Has anything been, like, tossed around? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir, I know. Uh, We've then been in talks with uh, guys, you know, about potential opponents and stuff like that. And um, like I said, I'm all ready. Just waiting to hear back from his team, I'm guessing, man. It's like so we can be able to get stuff rolling, you know what I mean? Because like I said, uh, the longer I wait, the more anxious I get. And the more other people get ranked ahead of me. And I don't like that, you know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the best way to keep moving up is to stay active, I'm sure. Um, oh, one last thing, too. I mean, just uh, summer months are kind of coming up here. Uh, we'll get a little off of MMA, but uh, any any fun plans, like, coming up? I know. Bro, it's like every day of my life is, like, a fun plan, honestly. You know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm probably going to keep my same routine of hitting the gym, waking up, smiling, laughing, kicking it with the homies and shit. It's like, man... I don't know, maybe we'll get down to Miami or something like that just to get away from Memphis. You know what I mean? We always here in Memphis just, like, chilling and shit. We'll, I don't know, maybe we'll, that'll be in the plans. We'll get away from Memphis and go uh, kick it somewhere and celebrate our winnings or something like that, you know? <laughs> All right, cool. Is that an MTV? Uh, it took me this long to notice. that MTV shirt you're rocking there? Oh, yeah, my mom saying dope, MTV. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, hey, I'm a 90s baby, yo. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, I like to represent all the way through. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, Jaleel, uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, anything uh, you want to say uh, before I let you go? Man, uh, I 100% appreciate you giving me a platform, bro. And yeah, no problem. To know that, man, people still is interested in what, you know, guys like me have to say and the combo. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I just appreciate you for giving me the platform.